And now to see what's happening on your Thursday. The city of Panama City holding a community meeting from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Bay Memorial Park off Balboa Avenue. The focus of the meeting is to discuss the master plan for Bay Memorial Park. The design team will give a presentation that highlights the goals of the project. Plus the fourth annual Songwriters Festival kicking off tonight at 6 o'clock with Panama City's Downtown After Dark event. Gunger and Red Clay Strays will be performing on the lawn behind Destination Panama City facility off of Beach Drive. General admission tickets will cost you $10 and a link to purchase those can be found on our website, mypanhandle.com. The 59th annual Florida Seafood Festival is this weekend in Franklin County. Arts and crafts exhibits, musical entertainment, and of course seafood are all part of the attraction. News 13's Chloe Sparks joining us live once again from Apalachicola to tell us what we can look forward to this weekend. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning, Kelsey. While there's going to be lots of seafood at this event, one of the most popular attractions is actually going to be the blue crab races. Now, people, the locals over here in Apalachicola call this event the granddaddy of a mall. And John Solomon, the president of the volunteer board of directors, joins me here now live. He's one of them that calls it the granddaddy of a mall. Why is that? Well, just its age alone. I mean, starting it back in 1914 all the way to now, you know, it's uh, it's one of the first. It is the uh, Florida's oldest maritime event. So, okay. And what is this board that we're standing in front of right now? This is one of the pieces of the Blue Crab Races. Um, we started this back about 20 years ago, and uh, it's brand new board, you know, from last year. But what it is is crabs are all lined up in a thing, and kids get to pick which lane they want. And when everybody's set and ready to go, the doors open and the crabs race down back into the water. So that when they get to the end, they go free. Um, and then each kid wins a prize. Doesn't matter if they finish first or 25th, each kid wins something. Um, it's just one of those things that uh, we like to have something for the kids to do, enjoy. And it got more and more popular over the years. It started with just a 10 race track and now it's up to 25. Um, track uh, race each uh, each day, each time and it's um, from one to five on the hour um, on Saturday. All day on Saturday. So what does that first place winner get? Uh, typically a nice fishing pole. Fisherman's Choice in East Point donates all the prizes for the kids and he always really hooks them up with great prizes and stuff. We really appreciate their involvement in this. And I know that there are lots of cool features that are very popular at this event. It really wouldn't be the same without them. Things like the oyster shucking and lots of vendors and arts and crafts. And I understand that it's all put on by nine people. Yep. Oh, <laughs> surprisingly so. 24 to 25,000 people attend the event and there's nine volunteers. Now we couldn't do it without the help of the community that, you know, come and run the gates and the t-shirt booths and different things like that. But the, the committee that puts this on is nine volunteers. And, you know, some people think, well, that's small. It is, but it's meant to be small because those nine people work their tails off all year long starting in December to put this event on and they all have their certain jobs and they all get done and that's what makes it special because you have people that are involved in the community from the community putting their time and effort into something and I say all the time you can't thank them more than what they do because they take time away from their family and their friends and the fun to make sure everybody else can. Well, I know that the locals sure do enjoy and appreciate all the hard work you guys put into this event. If you guys want to know more about it, you can go to our website, mypanhandle.com. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Chloe. Definitely should be a good time. It is. It'll, yeah, they have so yeah. much to do for the entire family. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and Apalachicola is just a beautiful place in general oh, yeah. to be yeah, and spend definitely. time in. Yep.